Hey everybody, this is Adam with Paracore, and today we're going to talk about managing your Facebook page. And before I get started, I wanted to let you know that I'm filming this in an Airbnb. There's a window open, a lot of cars and planes and things, so if you hear some background noise, I apologize. But we have a lot of conversations with clients about how to manage their Facebook page, and while that may seem like a fairly simple conversation, it actually gets a little bit trickier and more complex than you might realize. When we start working with clients, we typically move their ad account and or their page into the business manager, which is a centralized area where agencies and clients and other partners can work on the same ad accounts and share assets. For example, you can share pixels, you can share um, data sources, you can share all sorts of things within the business manager. But when you do that, it pulls it out of the organic Facebook interface and you need to do a couple things that are different than what you were used to before. And the funny thing about this is that uh, before I started filming this video, I actually had a little notification that there's now an option to either manage the Facebook page from Facebook or from the business manager. Literally brand new, I was just opening up Facebook to record this video, and of course there's a notification, a change that they made uh, that throws a little bit of a wrench in it. So typically in the past, uh, when we move a page into business manager, you get to it on your desktop and you see this uh, bar at the top here, go to business manager. And when you click on, on this link, it then takes you to a business manager version of the page, which is really not that different. You have the dark border, uh, the dark header, which is how we generally determine if we're in a business manager, just at a glance. And then you have some additional options up here at the top, the sub navigation, or I guess main navigation, sub navigation, because that's hamburger. But before I get into that, this is the setting that was just provided and posted uh, today. So when you're in your business manager, you're in business settings, and then you head over here down to business info, and they have a variety of different options. And when you click, uh, so pages and notifications, so this says off. So it says allow people in your business to create posts, boost, and see notifications from your page, which is organic Facebook with the blue header, and a business manager. If this setting is turned off, then they can only view these actions in business manager and cannot publish page stories from the page. So for me, it's kind of annoying to actually go, go to Business Manager because I typically just type in Facebook and Paracore is the auto-populated option. And then I want to go there and then manage the page. So if I hit Edit and I turn this on and I do Save, now when I go to the Facebook page, you can see I have the blue header. I'm in my organic Facebook environment and I have the sub-nav that I had before. This was not here before. You couldn't actually manage Facebook when you were just logged into your Facebook account. So that's really nice. It's just a little bit of a time saver. Uh, but basically, that setting either forces people to use Business Manager or gives them the option to use the organic Facebook environment as well. Okay, so now that we got that setting out of the way, uh, there's really two things I want to talk about. I want to go over where you're going to be looking in your Facebook page manager, business manager, to be managing comments and notifications. And th there's like a ton of communication things that are happening on your Facebook page. And then also what to do on your mobile device, because when you move it into Business Manager, it actually changes how you manage your page on your mobile device. So when we get to the admin view of your page, you have this navigation here, and you can view the page. You have Inbox and Notifications, and these are really the two areas you want to be looking at. So when I click Inbox, it's going to show me three different areas. It's going to show me Messenger Conversations, just waiting for it to load. It's going to show me Messenger Conversations here on the left. These are going to be Facebook conversations comments and things that are basically Facebook notifications. And then it's also going to be showing Instagram if you connect your Instagram page. So here uh, we're actually running a, uh, a bot that uh, through ManyChat that allows people to subscribe to weekly PPC updates. So you can see these are ad messages and these are people subscribing to the bot. And this is also us sending, um, sending the weekly updates, which is pretty cool. So we send basically what has been happening in the PPC world to people on a regular basis, uh, every Tuesday. If you wanna sign up, you can do that, uh, message me. All right, so this is the messenger notification. So here you can jump in, you can reply, blah, 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 blah. You can basically do everything you need to do in messenger. And then you have your trash, your spam, you know, mark all is done, you can star it, whatever, up here. Uh, then when you hit Facebook, now you have, these are basically um, different notifications. So this is a comment from Ellen. This is people commenting on the post. Um, these are basically all comments because this is the inbox, right? Uh, we'll get some notifications in a second. And then if you want to uh, head over to Instagram, same sort of thing. When people, anytime someone comments, you know, these are just like bogus comments, some of these at least. Um, uh, Live Edge Lust, actually, this is, uh, this is our table that we have in our conference room. It's super amazing. 
but these are kind of bogus comments probably and um, and you can manage those here and then you can obviously trash them or respond to them or whatever. So you can do all of your comment notification just in this interface which is really cool. Now the other piece that clients sometimes get confused about is the actual notifications themselves and this section is not as straightforward uh, shockingly as you might expect but we have uh, a notification section in activity and requests and it's important to know that once you click these activity and the request, they open up and you can see more things. So uh, the default is notifications. So it's good to see likes sometimes. So Becca, she works for Paracore. She liked my video. Thank you, Becca. We've got comments here, which are basically the same comments that we saw on the in, in the inbox section. We have shares. So now I can see when people are sharing our posts and then we have other, which is just other random things. So mentions and things like that. Now, uh, when I go over, but, but you can't really do anything here, right? So this is just like, oh, it's a notification. It's just like giving me a heads up. I'll mark all as red and I'm done. Whereas in the inbox section, this is where you actually respond to people. And that's why it's called inbox because it's actually a communication tool for messenger, Facebook ads and such, and then Instagram. Now heading back to the notifications, shouldn't have clicked over because it takes forever to load. We have the activity section as well, and uh, these are reviews and recommendations when people check in to your place of business, whether it's, um, so I'll often do Paracore's at Paracore, or if you have a, a retail store where people are checking in, you have mentions, and then also shares. So a different type of notification, different type of activity. So, you know, this is labeled activity because these are other things that are happening to your account that are not uh, communication, and they're not just notifications, it's actually a different type of activity. And then request is like if people are requesting pricing or an address change, you might see those come across every now and then. That's where these requests show up. All right, so you have two different areas. You have the inbox notification, and this is all on the desktop, obviously. So uh, one thing that people uh, get a little bit confused about and don't really grasp right away is that when you convert a page into the business manager, or not say convert, let's say transfer it. So you're basically moving the ownership from an individual, like Adam created a page, a Paracore page, and now Adam has to um, add, you know, Becca as, an, as a friend to give her access to the page and then I give her rights and all that. You know, it's all kind of in this like personal realm. When you move it into business manager at business.facebook.com, now it's converted to a company. And so that means that on my personal page, on my phone, I actually can't manage the pages anymore. And maybe this has disappeared for a while, but we've just been using um, the pages app for so long. But so now if you want to manage your page on your phone, you actually have to install the Facebook Pages Manager. And the Facebook Pages Manager is a whole separate app that you download for iOS or Android, and you can manage your entire page within that interface. So you can respond to comments, you can look at engagement activity, you can do posts on your page. Whereas if you're using just your organic Facebook, uh, your organic Facebook app, you're not really able to do these types of things. You have to get on a desktop because you lose the ability to manage your page in Facebook, especially when it, tran when it um, transitions over to a business account. So you want to download the Facebook Pages Manager. You have screenshots here. Uh, these are some of the screenshots of it. Here's just the Page Manager. If someone's, um, you know, you can see notifications down here in the bottom. These are metrics. These are communication. Uh, this, this little bubbles is where you can message people. Uh, the little thing right here, the globe, is, is notifications, like the same things we were seeing. So these are a lot of the same things we were seeing before, but just on your mobile device. All right? So uh, that's how you manage uh, communication, notifications, activity, mentions, all of that stuff on the desktop version of Facebook and also on your mobile device. So as usual, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below in the video. Uh, like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to our page if you want to see more information just like this. And thank you for watching.